we put that up? No, just first reading. Just okay, we're not going to do first reading. This is for discussion only. Um, essentially, this goes beyond what you get in the, the statute as far as um, <coughs> they pretty much address safety issues like if you can see a leaky sewer pipe or you got septic tank problems. These address, I think, some of the specificity that I've heard, especially come from Commissioner Patrick, as far as windows, um, sidewalks and driveways, exhaust vents, um, stairwells. You know, you were, you were saying if they have a bad handrail and stuff like that, that this, this addresses that. Windows, doors, frames, plumbing facilities, sanitary uh, facilities. Um, it just, it, I, I think it gives our people in the field um, more specifics to be able to fight by and also gives specific uh, penalties and constitutes um, you can you can once they go past the violation date and they have an order you can then charge them if it's a hundred dollar fine then for every day past that date um, the pop the fine can compound um, so it does have some teeth in it to hopefully get some of these landlords to pay attention I think the first time they get hit with you know find out if we mean business, when they uh, start having these fines multiply on them if they don't comply. And I'll just address the second one as well. Um, one is uh, for buildings and one of the, the ones for um, um, manufactured homes uh, include things like the, uh, the skirting and things like that that aren't included in the, uh, in the uh, regular building. So the first one it, on, on our thing is really for regular houses, and then the other is for manufactured homes. Is that kind of Correct. what that is? Yes, ma'am. Okay, ha habitable buildings, okay. Actually, with pets, I think the first will apply to both modular and quite any house. Okay. Both categories of houses, where the second one only apply to modular. Okay. And Mr. Chairman, of course, it's probably yes. for the attorney, but it's essentially, it's. I thought planning and zoning was supposed to be reviewing these things and doing public hearings on them before they came to us. If it is a part of your zoning ordinance, they're required to. They're not required to if it's not a part of your zoning ordinance. Okay. And this I don't is, think... This is an amendment of the Land Development Code. Isn't that part of planning and zoning? Mm -hmm. This can't be something. I believe, I'm, I, I might suggest that it be put somewhere else in the code. Right. It's really not a planning and zoning function as such unless you just want them to review it. I think we can find a better place to put it in under code, under health and safety. That's another revision. Okay. We Once again, let's let's not jump to it. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm glad we, we didn't do a first read. Right. Yeah. I mean, I just hadn't had a chance to look at it. I don't think anybody else did either. Well, I looked at it, and I actually sent an email to, uh, to, to, to the county manager on this, because I don't think this, it, if it's in planning and zoning, if it's in land development, so. Yeah, uh, it's not, it really shouldn't be in land development. Okay. Right. I think Greg's right. Health and safety is probably health and safety is fine. Okay. And I'll, um, this was this was to get it ready for to come before you, but I wanted review and criticism, comments, additions, deletions before we went on to second reading, obviously. But we'll go for further revisions before we bring it back. This will give everybody a chance yeah. to go through it. Mr. Mr. Chairman, can we? Uh, Asked to have this put on the next agenda and give us all time to at least look at now. I just kind of wanted to hear what it was so we knew kind of what we were looking at. And I'm glad Commissioner Bernard brought this up about the land development thing because I agree with that. We certainly don't want that in it uh, because we don't need it to go through a process with the zoning. It but doesn't have anything to do with zoning, really, it has to do with housing. Generically, is this, is this what the board was driving at, though? No. Something that we can go, I mean, just like y'all have seen those pictures that I've sent you on the, you know, that one house. I mean, it's obvious it doesn't have all its windows. I mean, it's just everything else about it. It really, it really helps your process by having these, because right now you've got to file and prove a nuisance claim, essentially. And Commissioner what? Patrick, did you want that to go forward as first reading? No. On the next agenda, if we can put it as first reading. Not, I don't want this to be first reading because we, we, we don't know. Right. We haven't read it really. Well, I think the, the next meeting, it needs to be more of a general discussion after we review it because there may be some changes. Do we have to declare first reading then? Mm -hmm. 
not necessarily exactly. you do it whenever you whenever you decide to. I thought that's what first reading was. Is yeah. that we first read it and then changed it, and then the next time we looked right. public. My understanding is we wanted this fast track, so yeah, I was we don't need to keep track. delaying it. Okay, you know, you'll take care of that, Mr. Chairman. Any further discussion on that matter? Oh uh, yeah, if you could uh, have Sharon put it up on the website so the public can look at it as well. We're going to have a hearing on it. I think that's an excellent idea. Yeah. I think so too. Great rather than wait on her to return.